but uh, but you know it might change if you use uh, the heteroscedastically consistent standard error. Right. Okay. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you might have you know one or two more uh, statistically significant uh, relationship. You see that? You know, yeah, and as I said always, uh, you have to show the variance inflation factor, you know, if uh, there is a presence of uh, multicollinearity or not, uh, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, but, uh, you know, in terms of significant might change, but why, why do you think you got uh, uh, the positive statistical significant relationship between inflation rate and the change in unemployment rate? Sure. I think it has something to do with everything else we had came out negative, so maybe you I have no idea. I need to look at it. <laughs> but um, our conclusion, which is clear from this presentation, the SAS output is not completely accurate. Um, we have incorrect errors. We need to put heteroscedastic. Yeah, you might use the correct one, you know? Um, yeah. And we need to possibly use more variables and figure out what the variables we have are doing. Uh. Okay, in terms of suggestions, you know, okay, as, and as you know, uh, so, you know, uh, probably uh, uh, for the literature review, right, I mean, it might help you to read a couple of uh, articles regarding the, you know, uh, how, you know, uh, unemployment rate article, right, and what kind of uh, uh, variables they use to explain unemployment rate, right, you know, and uh, probably putting those extra might improve the model's fit tremendously. Okay. You know? Okay. So point is, yeah. Okay. So th that's good. So do, do some. Uh, yeah. Do that. Um, wouldn't that make? If we have all these things that we already know explain unemployment, mm -hmm. wouldn't that completely take away any chance that immigration has of explaining unemployment? Like, wouldn't that completely destroy our paper? Well, it won't completely destroy your paper. The point is this, okay? There's nothing wrong with using, uh, you know, because, you know, the point is this. If you don't put something very important variable, right, into your equation, that means uh, your result is biased, you know, which is called omitted variable bias, right? Okay.